Okay, so it's brake time, brake pad time on my LM750 Rattan. Okay, this, the ours came with Tecro, Tectro brakes on them, and you can see I have the caliper assembly apart off the bike. All right, very simple. These two sprues right here out slide the caliper off and then pull the pin pull this pin pull that pin out of this hole right here and slide the and slide the one of the pads down what I'm doing right now is just checking to make sure that I order the right pads and very simple I just slid one of the pads down out of the holder look at after I pulled that pin I just slid one pad down and I don't know if you can see this or not but right on the side of the pad it says it says E10 so and those are a very common pad I, I, I thought I would have to maybe measure it and uh, and compare the measurements with something online or something but not necessary they are E10s all right and I'm going to replace them with organics I'm not going to go with the metal the semi-metals or whatever, or the ceramics, I'm just going to put the E-tens back on. Um, we've got just under 2,000 miles on them, and you can see the pads are worn, but not majorly. We're out about three-quarters of the way out on the adjustments on these brakes. They've done just fine. They stop just fine. They work fantastic. So now when I replace them, I'll just run those adjusters up on the handlebars back in again and put the new pads in and go back down the road. So so this was very easy. Now, see now, in this, I'll do the same thing with the new pads, and here's how it will go back together. I'll put the pin, I'll line everything back up on the top here, slide that pin back in the hole and bend the little tab over, and... Uh, slide this back over the rotor just like so just like so hold on here just like so see I'll just slide the rotor this is the rotor my finger is pointing at right now this is the rotor this is the caliper those are the brake pads okay make sure that the little keeper that's in there is holding the pads apart and slide that back together again okay this is a very common practice you notice too that right from the factory these came with blue loctite on the on the screws and i'll just put the screws back in now this is a little little difficult i'll just put the screws back in and line the caliper back up hold on here Just a minute i'll show you with it lined back up and i'm lining it back up right now Starting the screws back in, all right, like so, and like so, all right, there you go, and it's started. All I got to do now is run those in, tighten them down, and of course, make sure I put my cotter key back in. And again, this is gonna, this might be a little more difficult because I'm doing this one-handed. All right, now I'm gonna do this. I'll do that. I'll slide that pin back in again before I put the caliper back over the rotor. Just a minute, I'll show you. See, look. I'll slide the cotter key back into its keeper like this and bend the, hold on again here, and bend the end back over again with my, with my needle nose pliers. Just like that right there. Look at, hold on here. See, I have bent the the little keeper back over again. There you go. And then and then I'll slide that back over again. Hold on here. Not get in a hurry. Okay. Like so. And now I'll now I'll put the screws back in it. <coughs> Not to confuse you. I hope you can follow that. Okay. So it does take. So the LM750 Rattan with the Tectro um, brake calipers takes the E10. It is now 
verified. I looked all over on our owner's group website. I could not find this information anywhere, so I took it upon myself. They do take the E10, E10 series of um, brake pads. Any questions? Comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Later.